Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> I am so sorry for falling off the face of the earth these past two weeks. I have been going through it. A lot has been going on and um, I just couldn't, I just couldn't, you know? But anyway, I have COVID right now, so <laughs> we're doing a little uh, <clears throat> relaxing low light situation today because um, yeah, it's, um, how long have I been sick? It's day seven today. And when I tell you that the sickness was bad, it, I'm not kidding. It was really freaking bad. I cried multiple times because I was just so frustrated about the way that I was feeling. And my anxious and paranoid self is very scared of COVID. I've had it a lot multiple times um and just the long-term effects of it are what scares me just like having like a long-term cough like this cough that i have i'm scared that it'll never go away i'm scared that my taste won't fully come back because it's like basically gone um i've heard of i'm not gonna scare you guys but <laughs> I'm, I'm basically super paranoid about the long-term effects of covid um so i've just been like a sick and anxious mess this past week i i started having symptoms the day after my birthday which was on the fifth and my birthday was so weird this year i feel like i couldn't enjoy it it's been a, a roller coaster of emotions and i'm so sorry for uh not being present because I was on a roll with Legacy. I was on such a roll, <laughs> just constantly uploading. So here I am trying to get back to it. I need a distraction. I absolutely need a distraction because laying in bed and just thinking is not good. It's not good. But anyway, let's get into it. We are doing Legacy today. We are um, still in Solani from the last episode. We have a couple days of vacation left and I'm gonna just you know, chip away at Sarah's aspiration. Thank you for still being here. I love you so much. Let's get into it. Okay, so Do Dolly is still here and I cannot send her home. So I have to like keep cheating her need, which sucks. We also have bills to pay. So I'm gonna get Edison to, to wow, look at all these drinks he's been making. Bridgeport mimosa. We got rice cakes. All right. Well, yeah, let's pay these bills. Gosh, I I look like I look like such a mess right now. I'm I'm so sorry. Liz. I really wanted to film though and I just I could not be bothered to like do anything but slap some hair on. So here we are. Okay. So this is the girl that we have been talking to in um, Solani. Her name is Jamie. Um, some of you guys love her and some of you guys don't love her, which is completely fine. Um, but looking at the calendar, Sarah's birthday is on this day. She's going to be an adult. I think that we're going to have to wait until her adulthood to ha um, start having kids because I want Sarah to be in a, um, I want her to be in a long-term and healthy relationship and uh, yeah that's gonna take a little while so once we finish this aspiration we will give her the super parent aspiration and we'll get started on that so um we have t t three more tiers of this the last one is so easy doze off while relaxing in lounge chair like <laughs> Okay, why is that in its own category? <clears throat> but anyway, um, so we just need to beach comb a bunch and we need to grill barbecue or roast food. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get started on that right now. I'm gonna have Sarah beach comb like no one has ever beach combed before. And uh, maybe we can make progress on the seashell collection. I don't know, who knows, but yeah. That is what we're doing. <laughs> Romantic satisfaction begins. What? What is happening? What is happening? How did that happen so fast? Ren and Jamie have a strong romantic relationship and will now... How? What? Ren, I did not invite Jamie here for you. I invited her for Sarah. 
Oh, you butt nugget. You butt nugget. Wow, okay. Jeez. How did that even happen? Okay, whatever. She's at work right now. Well, I guess she's out of the picture then for Sarah. Um, can't have that happen. Is it cold? Chilled. Oh, it is. Okay, well, ooh, barrettes. Okay, well, she's in her cold weather outfit again. I guess we'll just have to endure, but let's keep beach combing. It's really easy. What? What happened? A seagull snatched it. Oh, hell no. We found something in this cake. What do you mean cake? Ew, we found spoiled white cake beachcombing. That's disgusting. Ordinary conch shell. Aww, sandy puppy. Okay, keep beachcombing, girl. I'm sorry, I know this isn't, a, this isn't very exciting, but we got to do it. We got to do it. Also, what is the reward for this aspiration again? Oh, laid back. I like that. I like that a lot. So, yeah, this, uh, this sickness has been so gnarly. Who's that? Carlos Lopez? Uh, keep your eyes to yourself, sir. Oh, wow. What a, what a punk. Yeah, keep running. Get at it. Don't look back. Don't look back at it. <laughs> oh so disrespectful anyway yeah the sickness ha I, it's been a roller coaster of every single symptom sore throat sinus headache congestion runny nose um cough uh what else fever chills like it just it comes in waves and it really sucks because I went on like a little mini vacation for my birthday. We went to uh, Carmel by the sea. It was really cute and I felt so horrible most of the time that we barely left the hotel room, which is probably for the best because I ended up having COVID and I didn't know until <laughs> we got home. Yeah, I started feeling bad, like, in the car on the drive there. My throat started getting scratchy and, um, yeah, I was like, shoot, I'm getting sick. And there has been, like, a little cold circulating my family, but it hasn't been bad. Like, no one, like, they just get, like, a little congested or whatever for a couple days and then it goes away. So I don't think I have what they had. I got COVID from somewhere else and who knows where because I barely leave the house. But um, <laughs> look at Edison swimming with the fish. Oh my God, stop, it's so cute. Oh my God, what is this screenshot? <laughs> Holy crap. All right, so we finished beach combing. The next thing we have to do is grill barbecue or roast food. That's super easy. She's thinking about her mom. Oh, one of you guys mentioned that um, Evangeline is gloomy, which is probably why she's sad all the time. I totally forgot about that. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. That makes total sense. Thank you for reminding me. I totally forgot about that. Nothing could be really going on with her. She could just be, you know, in her feels, which is fine. But um, yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about like what happened. So... Um, I'm not going to go into great detail, though, because, like, it's still very raw. <laughs> um, towards the end of August, our dog, Max, he passed unexpectedly. And um, it was, like, <sighs> it was so hard because, like, it was so hard because <clears throat> it was, like, sudden. All of my pets that I've had in the past... All my dogs and cat. Oh. They all, we all, <laughs> they all got put to sleep because they were like old and it was their time. And um, 
yeah, it was like you, you knew what was happening, and uh, you, you could say goodbye. But with Max, we didn't get to say goodbye. And, um, God. He was like my shadow, you know? He followed me literally everywhere. And, um, he was just the sweetest, like, smartest, like. He was the most, like, oh, she makes cooking. <laughs> Um, he was just like the best dog, like the best dog I've ever met. The most well-behaved, like handsome, sweet. He was just perfect. And um, just like having him ripped away just so unexpectedly, like, oh my God, it was so painful. It was like a different kind of grief. I have never like lost anyone close to me like unexpectedly before and um god i wouldn't wish it on anyone it's horrible it is so horrible Ugh. <sighs> sorry i all this stuff is happening in the game but i'm just like <laughs> oh my god uh the grief was unlike anything that I had ever experienced. It was one of the hardest things I've ever gone through. And for those of you that like have pets, like you understand. They're like family. Like we had a loss in the family. <clears throat> and it, um, everything was just really hard for, uh, ever like it's still hard, but when it happened, I just couldn't, I couldn't do anything for, for like a week. I couldn't like stop crying for a week. I couldn't, all I could do was sleep and cry, you know? And, and, uh, yeah, that's why like I wasn't uploading. And then, um, my birthday came around and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to like try and celebrate and, uh, just like get my mind off of it or just like like lift my spirits like I had been in the bed for a week week and a half and I was just like I need to like go do something I need to like get my mind off it and you know Max wouldn't want me spending my birthday in bed crying <laughs> so yeah that's why we decided to go on like a little a little road trip for my birthday and then I got COVID so I just, I feel like I can't catch a break. I can't help but like crave normalcy. I want a normal day. I want like, I want a day where I feel normal emotionally and physically. And I don't know why I'm <laughs> trauma dumping on this video, but it feels really good to like let it out. So thanks for listening. <laughs> anyway back to the game um so she just finished her what is that was that the second tier third yeah second tier for aspiration she just had to beach comb and barbecue a bunch so i just spammed it <laughs> um explore solani's beach cave and discover buried treasure okay um where's the beach cave again um i hope that you guys have been real good though um, it's officially Burr months, September, October, November, December, and those are the best months in the entire year. It is my favorite time of year right now. Uh, yeah, especially like after August ends, because then it's like September's my birthday, October's Halloween, and then November and December are just like cold and gloomy and just holiday, you know? Um, so I am happy about that. I do, it does put a smile on my face to think about it. Also, all of the, like, oh, that looks like the cave right there, no? Let's try it. Um, also, uh, all of the new Sims stuff that's coming out in the next, oh, sorry, that's coming out in the next two months. That is so exciting. All of the kind of spooky 
vibrations that I get from these packs get, <laughs> are getting me really excited. <laughs> okay. Um, waterfront retreat. This is a restaurant. I know it's supposed to be on the water. Um, it's really cute though. I like it. I like all the mismatched chairs. That's super cute. Anyway, um, yeah, I think this is the cave right here. So let's go explore. How come I, how come I can't see you? Why are you invisible? Um, Sarah spent her trip in the cave navigating the waters of the numerous lava tubes left behind. Along one tube, Sarah found a cluster of rare crystals growing out. Trying her luck, she loosened a few and took them back to the surface. No way. What is this? Why is it explore? What is that? Oh, I guess that's what you click. Interesting. Um, anyway, how am I going to find buried treasure? Oh, uh oh, she got bit by a crab. Mm. Okay, how do we get buried treasure? Travel to Solani Beach, click on it, and choose comb for beach shells. Sims may also use a red scuba buoy in deep water to purchase a treasure tool, which will allow them the free dive for. What? I didn't know you could do that. What is it? Red scuba buoy. Is it this? Oh, no, that's just for snorkeling. I legit don't even think I've ever snorkeled in this game either. <laughs> that's insane to me. She's also starving. I think it would be funny to steal this ceviche from someone instead of like getting a table, sitting down, waiting. Just go steal some food off someone's table. Easy. Oh, what is this as well? Hmm, I'll drink that too. TBFH. Annika Crane and Gardo Yu. They're a cute couple. This restaurant is so adorable. I'm a big fan. Even though it's on the wrong lot. Looks like our, our girl is not a fan of public bathrooms. Oh, here's one, I think. <gasps> Dive gear? Treasure tool? Underwater camera? What? Hold up. Oh, she's tired. Gosh darn it. I know better than to have a sim swim <laughs> while that tired, okay? I will never do it again. Not after my island living rags to riches. So drink this moodlet solver and then dive gear. Treasure tool um underwater camera i'm just gonna buy it all because we're rich you know <laughs> why not mm. all right so now we can do everything over here scuba dive for treasure all right come on girl let's do this thing yeah these aspirations definitely make me do things that i've never done in this game before watch out for the barnacles they really hurt oh my god we got food poisoning from the ceviche that we stole. I guess we deserve that, don't we? Oh, there she goes. Oh my God. Have you guys ever done this before? I literally haven't. I've never seen this in my life. Ever, ever. She's feeling inspired, even though she has food poisoning. I hope she finds something good. So I have watched a lot of TV while I was isolating in my bedroom for the past week. <laughs> I watched Mayfair Witches. That was pretty horrible, I'm not gonna lie. I watched um, Chaos. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, hold on. We found the eyes of Solani. Um, okay, so the last thing that we have to do is doze off while relaxing in a lounge chair. <sighs> easy. So easy. Celine Charm has passed away. Rest in peace. Um, Chaos I watched, which was so freaking good with Jeff Goldblum. It's on Netflix. Um, it has like Greek, Greek mythology themed, like if Greek gods ran the world today. Um, it's actually really interesting and funny. Oh, I watched The Perfect Couple. 
that new show on Netflix that just came out. It's like a murder mystery, <clears throat> rich family murder mystery, rich family wedding murder mystery. <laughs> I think it's based off a book. Um, I watched the documentary about the twins. Um, it's like a health experiment with, with a vegan diet and regular diet. They put identical twins who are essentially genetically identical, one of them on a vegan diet, one of them on an omnivore diet, and then they tested like their their bodies after eight weeks. Um, that was pretty interesting. And then I watched, you get some good photos. And then I watched the documentary about Apollo 13. I watched Lacey Peterson documentary. No, I have nothing else to watch. <laughs> no, it's very hard for me to find something. Beer fish. Hmm. I wonder if that's a way to get, um, like, rare fish for your, your, um, rare fish for the fishing collection. Okay, she's feeling really tired. So, let's get, let's get back over here. Oh, shoot. I made the mistake of teleporting her while she was in the water. Not the quicksand. Oh no. Underwater photo, $200. Yo. That's actually insane. Alright, let's go back to our lodging and get some rest. And then tomorrow we can officially complete this aspiration. Ralph has learned that Ibrahim is unemployed. Okay. Dun, 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 Encourage training, because you have so much to train with here. I know, I know. Rekalulu Sakwanirio. <laughs> Dolly can feel Sarah's passion and resolves to give it to her all. Wait, and resolves to give it her all when training. That's what's up. What's Ren doing? Master of Darkness from the Glorious Night while swimming with the fishies. <laughs> All right. Four hours left. What? Okay, well, hopefully she dozes off while relaxing here. I don't think Evangeline's a beach person. I haven't seen her in her bathing suit at all. <laughs> Look, we got a golden Mahi Mahi. I'm going to release it. Wait. What? Did that work for our collection? I thought that those worked for our collections. If we release them. No! So mad right now. So you do have to catch them for them to count. In your in your fish collection. Oh, that's so lame. Bluefin tuna. Okay, I'm sorry. We had to get it. We had to. Okay, I'm gonna extend the vacation. Yeah, everyone, go talk to her. It's fine. Okay, why is this so much harder than it looks? <laughs> okay, she's drunk. Apparently, Thai iced tea um, is alcoholic, <laughs> so she might she might doze off now that she's a little a little tipsy. I know I would, especially laying in the sun. All right, we did it. <laughs> she passed out. It's just so funny, like, the last part of this aspiration was just like, just, just pass out, like, just go to sleep. The, this aspiration was so hard, you deserve a little nappy nap. <laughs> Alright, well, we did it. So, as far as the location aspirations, we've done Mount Kamarebi, we've done Tomarang and Solani can't do city native these two i don't really understand and then strangerville we're definitely not doing that so <laughs> next up is going to be super parent family super parent or successful lineage this one would take forever to max because they literally have to grow up big happy family maybe become an adult become a parent be parent to a child with three friends be friends with three of your children so you have to have three children. Have a child get married. Oh my god. Have four grandchildren? Oh no, no, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Super parent. 100%. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. Super parent. The reward for this is role model. Role model uh, provide. Role models provide bonus character values gain when you're toddlers, children, and teens. Okay. Dope. And then her job. She's level six. 
So we're going to max it and then we're going to retire and then we're going to spend all of our time parenting, being a mom. All right, family, I think we can go home now. We have done everything that we needed to do. We spent so much time here. Why are you sick? What the heck? Are you... Why are you about to throw up? What are you... Are you like putting... Oh, is it because of that? I I don't know what's going on with him, but... Thumbs up! We did three aspirations in Sarah's young adulthood. And we finished her teen aspiration. Did we finish her child? Yeah, we finished... Did we do two child aspirations for her? Holy crap. We're on a roll, aren't we? That's one, two, three, four, five, six aspirations already in Sarah's life. <laughs> she might have been a mess when she was a teen, but she got shit done, that's for sure. That is for sure. All right, welcome home, everybody. Welcome home. Ren is off to sleep in her coffin. She's like, that was way too much sun for me. Sarah is going to pee like a champ. Impressive personal alert by being impressed by someone nearby. <gasps> hen chick has grown into a hen. Oh my God. Good grief, these poor chickens. No one took care of them while we were gone. 20 eggs, holy cannoli. Look at them. They're like little clouds of biohazard. And you guys, you look happy. Okay. Edison's up here. Are you, what are you doing? Gaming, chatting. Oh, he's about to go cook chocolate mousse. Nice. Also, Ren. Oh, we can't access her inventory right now. She's got a bunch of beautiful fish that we can put in our aquarium. Dude, what is wrong with you? Why are you in such a bad mood? Oh, we should have stole those moodlet solvers from the vacation home. Big mistake. <clears throat> I love our new home as well. So great. Hey, where's our chocolate mousse? You only made one? That's messed up. Garlic noodles, that sounds delicious. All right, Edison, since you were selfish and you didn't make any any chocolate mousse for Sarah. You get to clean this up. Fluffy llama hugs. Oh my God, that's such a cute moodlet. And she's stoked that she got over her food, her food poisoning. Well, good, I'm glad. I'm so happy to hear it. Mm, brew coffee, ooh, uh, what can we upgrade? Add infuser? Infuser and self-cleaning, how cool. Hey, not the ranch hand walking in on us while we're new day. No, you don't get, no, 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 no. Go explore space. That should cheer up your mood. One of you guys commented that it's so millionaire coded that Edison explores space as a hobby. <laughs> so true, it's so true. Garlic noodles for the win. You know, it would be really funny if like every time Sims ate garlic noodles, they got a bad breath moodlet. What the, Dolly, what are you doing over there? Are you, are you, are you bothering this poor woman? All right, so we know that Sarah needs to max her parenting skill. Um, I don't know, is there anything that we can watch on TV that helps us with our parenting? I don't think so. <laughs> That would have been real handy though. Um, dude, Edison, I told you to freaking clean this up. Ugh. Wait, what? <laughs> when? Have a sim reach max level in the secret agent career. Okay, Ren got promoted. I did not realize it was the last level. Double agent. All right, very cool. Congratulations, Ren. Congratulations. This is your, this is your double agent outfit? Feeling playful from work? What, I'm so confused. What do you, what did you even do? <coughs> Romance interactions. Hold on. Besides getting to wear a ton of incredible formal wear and sip drinks with perilously attractive strangers, 
Ren also gets to gamble at foreign casinos with agency money. Being an international super spy is exactly as amazing as it sounds. <laughs> Oh my god, she literally works Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. That is it. Wow. Well, congrats, my girl. Congrats. I was wondering why you were wearing a dress like that. Anywho, I'll give her a break while I think about what career I want her to do next. Well, <clears throat> since we got nothing to do and it's 2.30 and we're in a pretty good mood, why don't we just hang out with Evangeline by the fire or something? We haven't used this bonfire pit yet. Please don't start a fire. Please don't start a fire. Oh, it started raining. Okay, just kidding. I guess we'll just go to bed then. Can you guys hear that annoying construction in the background? I don't know what they're doing, but it sounds like they're cutting down trees and it's making me really sad. This is a pretty dope gnome to have in the kitchen, guys. Sims will not start fire when cooking. The weather will become sunny. I don't really want it to become sunny, but um, yeah, I'm gonna put the gnome, put that gnome in the kitchen. <clears throat> also, one of you guys commented that the gnome needs to be plumbite. I've already made a plumbite gnome, and for some reason that did not work. So I have no. Oh, look at that! We got promoted even though we didn't even go to work. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so we are now romantic health specialist. Sarah has been promoted to romantic health specialist. She will now make an additional 48 an hour. Love's little book collection. What's that? Um, I mean, we might as well work from home again. It's just too easy. 19 eggs. Okay, I'm putting them in the fridge before I forget. Oh, I wonder if we can put the tassels up yet. It didn't work last time, but I might be able to now. I can! Oh my god, how cute! How cute, how cute, how cute. Okay, yeah, our tassel collection is gonna go up here. And then we bought a marble jar. Let's see, where should we put this? Oh, we can put it out here in the hall. Okay, little marble jar. And I think we'll be able to drag all the marbles in there, right? Aww. I love that. And then, Ren, let's see what fish you have in your inventory. You've got another bone fish. Oh man, they're all foul. I can't put them in there. Why can't I put more in there? Is it full? Oh. It was full. That's kind of gross that you can put foul fish in your aquarium <laughs> look at the gummy fish oh my god that's so silly three days until edison's birthday three days to make that potato salad three days oh and we got <coughs> love day as well okay well i vote that we go on some dates with sarah today we need to find our soulmate we need to find the person that we want to spend the rest of our life with. So, um, yeah, I vote that we look at Cupid's Corner today because then we'll just be able to know the traits like right off the bat. And then for work today, we have to watch reality watch reality dating TV and watch telenovela TV. So we just have to watch four hours of TV today. Donation to charity? Sure, why not? Look at how beautiful this is. <laughs> It's a lot, but it's beautiful for sure. Check this out. Walking on sunshine from nearby charged amber. Sarah's embracing a streak of success while sunny days brighten every step. Look at her go. Because this guy right here. Oh, you can't even see him. This guy right here. <laughs> All right, Sarah, you're feeling good. Looking good. Let's pop open Cupid's corner. And see what we can find. I describe myself as creative and happy infant, <laughs> laid back, love bug, that's like having hopeless romantic in your bio, oh my god, Tomering, untroubled, there's so many good worldly knowledge, there's so many good things that we could put on her, 
her dating profile people person i honestly socially gifted tumbling expert let's see if i was sarah what would i want to brag about adventurous and worldly knowledge sure why not <clears throat> well i guess she's taking it in her pajamas what the oh my god cute okay go off queen go off all right let's see what we got i need to go into cast and fix her lashes okay um a slob and a loner i don't know um outgoing and glutton self-assured cat lover oh we know hims wow that's a nice He's in his ranch hand outfit. He's holding a martini on the beach. Alrighty. Ray Lynn, animal enthusiast and music lover. Are you are you a bodybuilder of some sort? Okay, let's let's, let's smash that. Um, Yusuf. Oh my god, this is this is our enemy, our high school enemy. Child of the islands and loner. Colin, materialistic mean. Cam, slob and loves the outdoors. Panya, active and outgoing. This is a turn off for Sarah. Oh. Oh, okay. Matthew, hot headed. No. Bill, no. Stuart, no. Where are all the girls at? An animal enthusiast would actually be really nice to have. Master create date. Let's see how this goes. All right, so let's see. Let's go to the vegan restaurant that I built. This was so long ago. I'm excited to see if I approve of it or not still. <laughs> it's pretty nice. This was before I knew about trim under there. Um, yeah, look at all those hanging plants. Most of it's outside, so it's kind of hard if it's snowing or in the rain. Ooh. Yeah, I really like it. Why is that not in the center of the table? Interesting. There's a little kitchen over here a little, with a little window. Wow. Who is this chef? Excuse me, ma'am. Slay. Which table? I wonder. Oh, these tables aren't functional, but that's okay. You can still just like sit. Let's get this one. Nope. That one. Do 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 do. So this is our date. Her name is Raylin. Raylin Stoker. She's cute. She's got really pretty eyes. And this over here is Brianna Rich, and this is Madison Avery. Who's the host? Aw, she's adorable too. Stacy Marlowe. Barbate! Who's this? Oh, she's adorable. Gwen Sheffield, a notable newcomer? Dang it, I don't think we're gonna be able to introduce ourselves. Attempt introduction. I hate having to do that. Honestly, it's embarrassing. Wow! Look at this area of Willow Creek, because I replaced all the, um... I replaced all the lots. There's like a little park right here and then a spa and then a cafe, more restaurants. It's so cute. Anyway, so tell me about yourself. What do you like to do for fun? Is she mean? She just insulted us for no reason. Okay, there's so many celebrities here. Why? Well, um, she keeps insulting us. We are attracted to her, though. And we have good compatibility. But, like, why do you keep insulting? <gasps> Girl, what? She's streaking! I did not tell her to do that! Holy crap! Okay, I'm ending this date. This has been a disaster. She insulted us multiple times and now she's streaking. 
for no damn reason. End. Yes, yes, it's all very sad. Let's introduce ourselves. Oh, insult her. Oh, I guess compliment. I don't know. We didn't eat anything, but she's pretty. Yeah, I didn't eat your food, but you're you're like really pretty. Wow, how often do I get complimented? Never. Come back soon. Aww. Well, at least we know her now. Amazing compatibility. Oh, she's back. How was your how was your streak? Anyway, I don't really want to be on a date with you anymore, so. <gasps> Oh my god, so this is gonna sound crazy. I know we're friends and all, but well, I have a crush on you. Oh my god, is this the guy from Selva Dorada? Is it? It is. Bro, I totally forgot about this guy. Let's just uh, go on another blind date at this restaurant. <laughs> Oh my god, give up table. What? Look who it is, your blind date. Is that Rory? Stop it. I can't catch a break. Hey. How are you? Should I entertain this date? Susanna? Whoa, nice shirt. Susanna Capric... Oh, she's taken. Sorry. Who is this guy again? Why does he only have one name? Isn't this a ghost? Am I crazy? Isn't this guy a ghost? I swear he is. From from the paranormal kit. Did he just... Oh my god. He just flirted with us when his wife is over here. This guy, I I can't, I can't. Such slime balls. Also, I don't want to be on this date anymore, Rory. I'm sorry, you're just not my type. Next. Speed dating for the win. Uh, who's my blind date? Wait, what? The host? The hostess. The hostess is my date. Uh, um, okay, and Sarah's about to hit her with a romantic introduction. I mean, she she is very pretty. I, I thought that, but she's working. Are you off now? Or is this restaurant just gonna not function? Whoa! That romantic introduction, though? Stacy Marlowe. Stacy and Marlowe. Stacy and Sarah. Are you shingle? When we can't request a table because there's no hostess? I guess we can come sit over here. Oh god, I wish so bad that this freaking... That this freaking game was open world so that we could just come sit over here on this bench. Come on, where's the lights? Let's watch the stars together. Wow, I didn't realize how dark this restaurant was. That was my bad. Or have the lights just not turned on yet? Oh, there we go. There's the lights. What is this? Oh my gosh, so many sims in love. <clears throat> okay. Do we even know any of her traits? No? Okay, well we should probably learn those. Very satisfied in their relationship. Bro, they just met. This is progressing very fast. Family oriented? Okay, perfect. Okay, Sarah, go piss, girl. Romantic, family oriented. How? Those traits are perfect for Sarah. I'm not even gonna lie. All right, turn ons, highly skilled sims, wealthy sims, health and sports skills, egotistical sims, turn offs, academic skills, and high energy sims. Okay, that's that's pretty good. <coughs> and physical. Green hair, orange hair, rocker fashion, green clothes, turn offs, hipster fashion, and white clothes. That does not, that does not help me. But they should have their first kiss before the day ends. It's so dark, but you get the point. Is 
If this is your sim, let me know. I want to see what her outfit is. If it's all crazy, it's probably not. But if she's like pretty put together, then it might be. Gosh, she might be aging up into a... She might be aging up into a... An elder soon. Yeah, 35 out of 42. So she's got seven more days as an adult. We could always give her a potion. Too. They can't keep their hands off each other. Steamy. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, that's fine. Someone's screaming over here. What's going on? Well, at least that date went well. Um, Tommy Colette? <laughs> Not Tommy Colette. Oh my god. That's actually hilarious. Well, their date's almost over. Shoot, we gotta go home and do our work stuff. Okay, what do we do? Do we just leave? I think so. Okay, let's go home. We gotta go watch four hours of, of freaking romance TV. I really like her though. I thought her traits were really good. Um, she looks really, really cute. I do want to go look at her and cast. And yeah, I think I do want Sarah to be with a girl. Because we have the addition of science babies, so... Yeah, I just think it, it suits her. All right, three different dates. We ended up really liking the third one. So uh, yeah, cheers to that. We'll explore that some more. Because we do need to find someone to start having flirty heart cookies. We do need to find someone to start having babies with sooner rather than later. And this guy, the one that just professed his love, uh, what was his name again? Dylan. Yes, Dylan. Sarah's romantic feelings about Dylan neutral. Yeah, I don't know. Neutral, very satisfied. Hmm. Deeply connected, steamy. Shoot, we don't even know her last trait. Okay, that's fine. Cute! Cute, cute, cute. Flirty heart cookies. Okay, let's grab one. Um, and then... Oh, crap. We're not gonna have time to complete our daily tasks. We gotta watch reality dating. We might be able to get one of them done. Okay, we were able to complete the reality dating one. What the heck? What are you doing, dude? Oh my god, he's addicted to coffee, and he's just... I don't even know what he's doing. Why don't you just come inside? Come inside. Just sit down. We could also wish for love through the... <laughs> oh no, honey. Through the uh, wishing well. I don't know. That's the thing. You don't know what you're gonna get. You can get any gender. You can get any age. You get an elder, um, and your sim is just automatically in love and in a relationship with them. So if we do wish for love and we end up not liking the sim, we'll have to like break up with them, and that'll be a whole, a whole process. Look at how gorgeous the pink trees are out the windows. Oh wow such a vibe such a vibe oh mm. yeah we're gonna work from home again i guess he was happy with the work that we did at least we did something all right i think that we should have a look at um stacy and Cass. um yeah, I'm actually really interested to see. I want to see her 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 household situation. Oh, I can't see it. Oh my god, I hate that so much. Um yeah, she's absolutely beautiful though, those red eyes. If we take off the EA lashes. Give her some normal lashes, give her skin detail. Maybe switch up her brows a bit. Okay, so let's see. Sarah is level level seven of her career. Um, next promotion is intimate relationship coach, love connection specialist. Uh, right now she's an expert counselor dedicated to enhancing clients' well-being, contentment, and romantic relationships. <laughs> 
So in the next one, we're going to be celebrating Edison's birthday and Sarah's birthday. We'll probably have a little joint a little joint party moment. We also have Love Day, so we need to figure out uh, what we want to do for that as well. Leave me comments. Let me know what you think um, they would do for their birthdays. Like, how should we celebrate it? Um, and we're just going to be focusing on getting her her last three promotions when she gets her last three promotions and gets a partner. We're going to start working on Gen 8. It's Gen 8, right? Savannah, Max, Olive, Charlie, Zoe, Edison, Sarah. Yeah, Gen 8. Sarah's baby is going to be Gen 8. So her firstborn son is going to be the next heir. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about... Um, Stacy, or if we should keep dating around for a bit we have a little bit of time like I said we need to max our career first so that we can focus completely on being a parent um let's see here let me uh go to manage worlds all right let's check Brightchester and see who our girl lives with oh she is one of Edison, one of the Edison lovers. So it is one of your guys' Sims. Uh, we'll see how all of that goes in the next episode. But um, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hearing me out. Um, thank you for letting me cry. I love you so, so much. Leave me comments. Let me know what you think as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh.